What's up, my people? Welcome back. Today, we're going to discuss the Stray Kid member, Lee Noel. Okay, now this is a requested video. They want to know more about Lee Noel's career and his health. They want to know what's going on with Lee Noel. So, we're going to see if we can pull, you know, some, some cards concerning um, Lee Noel's energy and see what it comes up. Hopefully, it shares something about his career, okay? But, um, you know, but sometimes it reaches on into their personal life, honey. And who am I to, de to deny that, okay? So, I am going to go ahead and start this reading now. So, let's see what we can find out about Mr. Lee No from Stray Kids. Okay, so what can you tell me about Lee No? His career and his health. We want to know more about his career and his health. Mr. Lee Noel. I'm not sure what to do about Mr. Lee Noel. I'm sure he is. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try this again, okay? Let's see what we can find out about Lee Noel. Ooh. Straight out. On the flow. Okay. It's with the night card here. Okay. So it says... This decisive, focused, driven, defensive, events that move with great speed, choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones, sudden or unexpected changes, review your options carefully. Okay, so he's showing up as a knight, okay? Um, that's very decisive. He's focused. He's driven. Maybe somewhat defensive, you know, because the knight comes in. You know, when the knight comes in, especially if he come in like that, okay? He coming in real fast, and he mean business, okay? Let's see if we can find out more about that. Why is he coming in like this? Okay. But it says he needs to choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones, okay? Because he's going to experience some sudden and unexpected changes in his life. But he needs to review his options very carefully, okay? Before you just run in with that sharp knife. And then your horse got this sharp unicorn, little horn at the top, okay? You're going to really hurt somebody that way. <laughs> or are you trying to? So let's see. This knight energy. Why is this, why is Lee um, no showing up as this knight spirit? What can you tell us about this? Mr. Lee no and his knight. This knight. Why is this knight card? For Mr. Lee No. Oh, okay. I got two cards that popped out here. So we have the detective card here. And the detective card it speaks of great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. Okay, so he's going in to seek the truth. But what we don't see, he may even be falsifying some information. So he's being the detective and reaching out, trying to seek the truth. But then <laughs> he may not be telling the truth about what, what he sees, okay? And he's playing the judge, okay? He got the, he not only the detective, but he also the judge, <laughs> okay? So he's trying to balance. He's balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair dis distribution of power. But what we don't see is that he's offering only destructive criticism. He misusing business, legal, or criminal authority, Ooh, okay, Mr. Lee, no. Now, no one of you so defensive then, okay? Because you're going in as a detective and a judge. All right. Let's find out more about that. Let's find out more about that. I'm very intrigued. Get a detective and a judge, honey. That's, that's something else. Mr. Lee, no. Okay, so, so what can you tell us more about, let's start off, let's see if we can get more about this night card. Let's see if this, pull more about the night card. What can you tell us about this night card here for Mr. Lee No from Stray Kids? What can you tell us about this night card? Okay, pop out for me, pop out for me. Come on, pop out for me. I tried to say something. Let's see. Let's try it again. Night card. What, what can you tell us? Oh. Now, this is a lot of cards that popped out, but they popped out so clean. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take them. 
but it's a so with the two of pentacle card here let's start off with the two of pentacle it says money confusion juggling two situations or ideas okay so he's trying to juggle some things here with this night card okay he's juggling and he's trying to, okay with the four ones he has a happy home okay possible country set settling okay so his home maybe um you know, it's a possible country settlement. Okay. I don't know what that means. But it does, the four of wands does stand for a happy home. Then we have the seven of wands here. You see this person right here being with a um, a stance, ready to fight, ready to stand his guard. Okay. So he, there are some frustrations. You are able to overcome your frustrations. You are on top of the situation. Okay, so as he, when he's showing up at the night, he's trying to balance out. He's juggling money. He's maybe confused about his money, okay, because he's trying to maintain a happy home, okay, with the seven of ones, but it's still some frustration. But it's at this card right here, he said, it choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones, okay? So he's frustrated concerning trying to balance two things here, okay? But it says you are able to overcome it. Okay, and you are on top of the situation. Okay, he definitely like he's on top of it here. So let's see what more we can find out about this detective card here. Okay, what can we find out about this detective card? For let me know, please, spirit. Okay, oh, let's try this again. Okay, what can we find out about the detective card here? For we know. What can you tell me about this detective card here? For we know. Detective card. Can you tell me about this detective card? Thank you. Okay. With this card, it says Eight of Cups. Money problems. Okay. He's turning your turning your back and walking away, knowing there's nothing more you can do. So he's turning away and walking away from a situation. Okay. After he's been a detective, okay. It says great power of observation and intuition. His intuition. He desired to seek the truth. Okay. And maybe after he found out the truth, maybe someone was falsifying information. Okay, or, you know, or him. Okay, but we're going to get some clarification on that. But maybe he found out about some falsified information and he decided to walk away from the uh, situation after he did some detective work. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. What can we find out from this deck about this judge card here? Can you tell me about the judge card for being my spirit? All right. Okay. So with the judge card, balancing, balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles speaks of money coming, divine wishes being granted. Okay. Okay. Divine wishes being um, granted. So he's trying to balance it out up here. Okay. So he can have a happy home and he's standing his ground and, you know, he may be frustration, but he's choosing intellectual um, responses over emotional ones. Okay. Because with the judge card is saying that some money is going to come in for him. Okay. And, but the shadow side, it says offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal or criminal authority. So let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's pull another card and see what we can find out about this information here. Let's pull it from this deck. Okay. So let's see. What can we? What do we need to know more about? Let's. Let's. I'm still gonna ask more about this detective work. This detective work. What is, can we find out about this detective card here with this deck? Okay. What can we find out about this detective card here? you so it says opposing goals arising from different opinions feeling at odds with yourself and others overly ambitious people okay so he's um getting some opposing um goals arising from different opinions it's like you know he's probably setting the goal to, um towards something okay but people are not buying into it or people are not agreeing with it okay and, and, you know, because he's trying to balance out his money confusion. He, and he may be coming up with ideas 
um, to get money. Maybe ideas about songs. Maybe maybe ideas of what what can what he should do with the group. But then you know after some detective work, he realizes that people are not valuing his opinion at all, which makes him second guess himself. Okay, and he he's second guessing it so much that he just decides, you know what, I'm just gonna walk away from it all. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with these people. I'm not gonna argue with anyone. Okay, because. You know, maybe they're falsifying information about it. Or maybe he was falsifying some information. You know, because these cards are speaking about him. But then again, you know, it depends on the cards I pull. So let's see. If I can, let's find out something more about this judge card here for Lino. Okay, what can we find out about this judge? What can we find out this? Ooh, that's a out for you. Popping out on the floor. Okay, yeah. Okay, we have the moon card here. Powerful in, in, intu intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear. Understanding the truth of a situation. The moon card, yeah. So after he became the judge and found out, you know, that maybe somebody was lying to him about something. Or maybe they... um maybe he was lying about something okay and that made people feel a certain type of way which given all different type of opinions concerning the situation which is causing money problems for him and he said if it's going to cause money problems and he can't balance it out and have it happen home he's going to walk away from it okay that's what this card the moon card speaks of powerful intuitive epiphanies okay it's like he made some discoveries okay being a detective Okay, and then he decided to judge. He's decided to let go any worries and fears, understanding the truth of the situation when it comes to the judge. He's understanding the, the situation that's um, happening here. You know, because somebody may be offering only destructive criticism to him that's breaking them down. Okay, making them feel a certain type of way. Maybe even um, making them feel bad. Okay, but and he and he just came to the, to the realization, hey... I can't please these people. I can't please this situation. There's nothing I can do about this situation. I just need to walk away from it all. Okay. You know, and, and it's leaving him very frustrated. Man, let's see. Okay, let's see. What do we need to know about the detective card here? Or, let's see. What can we, uh, advice can we give? What can we know? This detective card. What can we say about this detective card here? From this deck. Okay, let's see. Detective card. Anything we need to know about this detective card? Okay. Appreciate your talents. You appreciate your talents even if nobody else does, honey. Okay, because after you're doing your detective work and you found out that they're not agreeing with, with what you're putting out there, they're not um, buying into what you, you're doing, yeah, you walk away and you still appreciate your talents, okay? Appreciate what um, God has given you, okay? Because as long as you appreciate it, you're going to find the opportunity where you're going to have a happy home so that you can have, can, can fix your money problems, okay? Because, let's see, let's find out more about this judge card. What does this deck have to say about the judge card here? I don't really know. I don't really know about the judge card here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Calm is not a weakness. No, baby, it's not. Okay. You know, you can calmly walk away from a situation that does not make you weak. Okay, because if you appreciate your talent and you know your talents, you know what you're worth, you just walk away calmly. Okay, walk away calmly because you already see that they're not appreciating you. Okay, they're giving destructive criticism to you. Okay, um, and so you need to walk away and find you a better uh, situation here so that you can create your happy home here. Because at the top, remember, it says choosing intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones, okay? No need to pick up your stick and swing and hit nobody because that's only going to put you in jail. Calm is not a weakness. Walk away, okay? Know you appreciate your talents and walk away from the situation, okay? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if this deck can give us a little more insight on what's going on. Um, do I want to use this deck? I think I want to use this one. 
Goals arising with different opinions. Okay, let's see. What can we tell us about the Five of Spring card here in this deck? Is there anything to tell us about the Five of Spring card from this deck? Five of Spring card. What can we find out about this Five of Spring, if anything. You don't want to tell us nothing about the Five of Spring. What about the Eight of Cups? Anything we need to know about this Eight of Cups? Eight of Cups for Mr. Lee, no? Oh, there we go. Oh, so he's walking away because of money problems because what? His commitment is being tested. Your commitment is being tested right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they trying you. They trying you, Mr. Lee, no. Okay. And they trying to see, you know, how committed you are. Are you going to stick around and be a fool and keep on having money problems with them? Are you going to come and walk away? Okay. Are you going to stay committed and, and wait it out? And see and hope for the best? Okay. Or are you going to just continue to be like, you know what? I appreciate my talent. I'm not going to waste my talent here. I'm going to move on. Okay. Let's see what, you know, this... What can this Tell us about this judge card here. Is there anything to tell us about the judge card here? Yeah, they kept, they are testing him, honey. You know, he's trying to stay calm. He wanna pick up a stick and start swinging. <laughs> but the card said he needs to choose an intellectual response rather than an emotional one. You know, we get in our emotion, honey, we be ready to fight. But that's not always the answer, okay? That's not always the answer, okay? There's going to be some sudden and unexpected changes. And the changes is like he's going to be walking away. It says, hold your vision. So whatever he's saying to them, or whatever ideas he's giving to them, they are actually good ideas. They just don't appreciate them, okay? They're not They're not appreciating, but he needs to hold his vision, okay? Because money is coming, is coming his way as long as he holds his vision. Concerned either, you know, stick to your guns or... And, and if they don't appreciate you and all, they, all they're doing is offering you destructive criticism uh, and misusing you, okay, then, yeah, hold your vision and take it elsewhere. Go solo. Do what you do what you need to do. Okay? I know if I was at a job and they didn't appreciate me, they undervalued me and treated me like crap, yeah, I don't mind walking away. I'm a walk away type of person because I know my, I know my value. Okay. Yeah, because um, money and fortune is going to come his way. He just needs to hold his vision. Don't let nobody tear him down. Okay. Because he's having powerful intuitions about letting go of worry and fear and understanding the truth. Doing your detective work. Understanding the truth. Being the judge. Okay. You, you being the detective. You found out the truth. Okay. Now it's time for you to be the judge and the jury. Okay. Hold your vision. So that you can get your money right. Okay. And have a balanced and a happy home. Okay. Because being frustrated right here and fighting with somebody is not going to help. Okay. Just, unless you feel that, you know, if you can stand up for your right and still get what you need. But it says sudden or unexpected changes are going to happen. So you may need to accept the change. Walk away with your eight of cups. Okay. Walk away from this. Even though these cups looking good, but I don't see nothing in those cups. Walk away from it. Your commitment is being tested here. Okay. You want your money to be good? You want your money to be good? Okay. You need to be the judge and hold your vision. Okay. Let go of any fears that you have. Because right now, you know, you know when you work for a corporation, you know, they, pay, they may be paying you good, okay, but they're treating you like crap. And you have a vision that you want to go out and, and start your own business, okay? But what stops you? Most of the time, it'll be your own worries and your own fears. But uh, Spirit says he needs to hold his vision, okay, because his, his commitment is being tested. He needs to hold his vision as long as he holds his vision because he's having powerful intuition saying that he, he's on to something. Okay, he's on to something. And he, his money is going to be coming. His divine wishes are being granted. Divine wishes. Okay, nobody can block your divine wishes but you. Okay. So he needs to be very decisive and focused and driven up here. Okay. 
because events because events that move with great speed okay so this is all happening real fast for him and it may scare him i understand that okay i understand that i know the fear that comes with trying to branch out on your own and start your own business okay what can we tell mr leading on on this deck what, what, what do we need to know from this deck concerning mr leading on if anything scary is there anything that we can need to know from this deck Okay, let's see, you know. This card is too big to be shuffling around anyway, really. Okay, let's see. Let's try this deck too. Because uh, I'm at 20 minutes, okay? I want, I want to do 20 minutes like you do the quest is out. So I can see if I can pull anything else from this deck that we need to add to Mr. Lino's reading. Okay, two cards just came out. Okay, professional assistant and behind the mask. Okay, so his intentions is, okay, it's behind the mask. Okay, so he has intentions to branch out on his own. Okay, he needs to get from behind this mask, maybe get an assistant. Okay, that can help him. You know, there's people out there that's willing to help him. So he needs to get some assistance, stop hiding, hold his vision. Okay, stay committed. Okay, to him. Devote himself to him. Calmly walk away. Okay, put the stick down. <laughs> Don't go to jail. Put the stick down. Okay, so that you can build your happy home and, and have balance. Okay, you just need to be decisive, focused, and driven. Okay, and um, because events gonna move really fast here for you. It's gonna move really fast for you. Okay, walking away may not feel good. Okay, but you see that people are having opposing goals for different opinions. Okay, and it, and it's making you feel at odds about what you your dreams and your hopes. Okay, but they said appreciate your talent, Mister Mister Lee. No, appreciate your talent. Hold your vision. Okay, because money is coming. Divine wishes are being granted. So everything that you've been praying for, you've been asking for, is coming your way. Okay, because guess what? You're the judge. You the judge. You the one who can make this happen. All right. That concludes the reading for Mr. Lee No from Stray Kids. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Let me know that you like it. And then you want to subscribe because guess what? I'm putting out more hot videos. Okay. Well, that's all for you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye, y'all.